they raise our, our uh, medical from 200 up to 200 per person to 400 per family. Plus, it would cost. Uh, the deductibles go up 50 percent. Yeah. Well, the deductible doesn't change. It's still 80 percent after the two and four hundred dollars. Now, did any of the officials from Streeter's company come here today to the union hall? No, no, just uh, just uh, people from the union. So basically, it comes down to wages, medical benefits, and then also, wasn't there another issue there? Well, there's there, there's some issue about subcontracting. We're sending a lot of our work uh, that could be done here to shops here in Elberlee, and then we're sending a lot of it down to Atlanta, Georgia, that could be done here in, in Elberlee. So if they vote no on this contract, what will happen? Well, we'll go on strike June 1st. All right, well, we'll certainly keep you updated. Uh, at 6 o'clock, we'll probably have those votes tabulated, and we'll be following this story all tonight. Thank you, Brad King and Alex Kendall, live in Albert Lee. Back to you, Beth. Alex, if I may, a quick question. After those numbers are counted, if they do indeed reject the contract and they go on strike, they will have to take a strike vote before that. Isn't that right? Um, I believe that's usually um, the process. However, in talking to Brad, he said then, then they will strike on, on June 1st. But that is what I understand about uh, uh, being union members. They do have to actually vote to strike. All right. Thank you so much, Alex. And the company, by the way, has refused to comment on the situation at this point. In about 30 minutes, votes are being counted as we speak in Albert Lee this afternoon at Streeter's uh, company. A union vote to decide whether to accept a new contract or not. We may have vote totals for you by the 6 o'clock news. Hope to have them for you by then. From your regional news station, this is News 6 at 6. Good evening, I'm Beth Bednar. Glad you could join us tonight. Our top story is a contract vote taken by nearly 800 workers from an Albert Lee factory that manufactures commercial shelving. First, we'll talk with workers who say that disagreements over wages and benefits led to a no vote and possibly will lead to a strike. And since results from the vote totals are now in, we will take you live to the Union Center in Albert Lee for an update. Our top story begins with a conversation with Streeter employees. Many of them tell News 6 the raises being offered in the proposed contract simply were not enough and the insurance benefits they thought were unfair. But they're also concerned that today's no vote could have them manning pickets when their contract expires on June the 1st. Has more. Workers at Streeter's manufacturing plant are worried. The employees filed into the union center this afternoon to vote on a new contract. But it is a contract some say they're not happy with. At issue, say members, are wages, subcontracting, and medical deductibles. It's their offer, and it's our, our choice to vote if we want to accept that offer or not. And we still have until Ju June 1st to uh, vote if we want to strike or not. You have until June 1st. Okay. Yep. What's the issue? Is it, um, is it benefits? Benefits salary? mostly. Uh, we could always use a little more salary. Everybody could, so... Mostly it's the benefits, trying to take more than we think they should. This contract proposal reportedly comes from a memo sent to workers last Friday. Company officials declined to comment at this point. Streeters employs over 800 people and is Albert Lee's second biggest employer. The company manufactures two major products, store shelving for Target stores and cigarette displays that results in reported sales of about $9 million a year. The contract for employees will expire May the 31st. Negotiations have been underway between the company and the local union for about four weeks on the proposal that was turned down today. Beth? Well, members of Local 766 wrapped up uh, their voting at the Union Center in Albert Lee about 5.30. The vote totals came in just a few moments ago. The proposed contract was rejected by a margin of 3 to 1. Our Alex Kendall is live now at the Union Center in Albert Lee. Alex, what's the latest? Well, Beth, uh, I was here an hour ago, if you remember, seeing the parking lot was absolutely jam-packed and full, and those were, of course, union members waiting to hear the vote. You've heard the vote. They voted over uh, an overwhelming majority, 3 to 1, actually over 3 to 1, to vote against this new proposed contract. Now, the union members I talked with say that the contract only offered 2% pay raise, and what they're saying is they will take no less than 4% to keep up with the rise of inflation. They will also take no insurance 
insurance cuts. Uh, insurance seems to be uh, one of the sticking points as well as subcontracting. Now, evidently, last year about 28 people were laid off, and they want to make sure that if they are going to subcontract work, that no one is laid off and no jobs are actually taken. Beth? So, Alex, where do we go from here? Is a strike inevitable? Well, it sounds like it, Beth. What happened, of course, is they voted no on the contract. And what union members told me today is that actually the local 766 union, there is a committee that can actually has the power to decide to strike. So they actually won't bring this, won't bring a vote back to all the union members. The committee has the power to strike. And they think, uh, the union members that I talked to today, seem to think that the company will, of course, that they will be able to negotiate something and that they will not go on strike come Monday. All right, thank you. Alex Kendall, live in Albert Lee. If workers do say, uh, or they did say no to this contract, of course, but it doesn't necessarily, they will, uh, doesn't necessarily mean they will end up on strike. They will, however, be one step closer to manning the picket lines, as Alex said. We will keep you up to date on the results and have uh, more tonight at 10 on News 6. And that is our top story for this Tuesday. Union members at a nearby manufacturing plant may soon be carrying picket signs that after giving the thumbs down to a new contract, proposed by their employer. A vote today by members of the local 766 union gave an overwhelming no vote to a contract employers. Employees say would pay them less money. The mood was upbeat considering union workers at Streeters may be going on strike soon. Nearly all of the 600 local 766 union showed up to cast their ballot on a new contract proposal issued by Streeters. The company passed out a memo last Friday detailing the tentative agreement, and workers say they're not happy with it. What's the issue? Is it, um, is it benefits? Benefits salary? mostly. Uh, we could always use a little more salary. Everybody could, so mostly it's the benefits, trying to take more than we think they should. Union members say the contract calls for only a 2% pay raise, and they need 4% to keep up with inflation. In addition, workers say this contract would double their medical deductibles. Also at issue is subcontracting, which they say is taking jobs away from laid-off union members. The manufacturing company responded with this letter, which says, the Streeter Company and Local 766 concluded their negotiations, and the membership voted to reject the company's final offer. If the union committee votes to strike, workers may be on the picket lines starting June 1st. Now, the union workers stress that they would rather work things out with the company than end up on the picket lines. Streeters employs over 900 workers, of which over 600 are represented by Local 766. And now an update on last night's top story. As we told you, union members from a nearby manufacturing plant may soon be holding picket signs. A vote by the local 766 union gave the thumbs down to a new contract issued by Streeters Manufacturing. The workers say the contract only gave a 2% pay raise and doubled workers' medical deductibles. Union members are asking for a 4% pay increase to keep up with inflation. Employees also say nearly 30 people were laid off last year, and the company is subcontracting out those jobs that should be given back to laid-off workers. Streeters responded by saying they have concluded their negotiations with the union members, and the members have voted to reject their final offer. If the union committee votes to strike, union members could be on the picket lines this Memorial Day. Our top story begins with a look back at what led up to today's yes vote by workers at Streeters Manufacturing. About a week and a half ago, workers voted and turned down the first of two offers made by the company. Workers say contract number one would have doubled their deductibles and it only gave them a 2% pay raise. Also at issue was subcontracting. Employees say nearly 30 people were laid off last year and the company was subcontracting those jobs. Workers felt the subcontracted jobs should go back to those who were laid off. After an overwhelming no vote on the first offer, the company and the union called in a federal mediator. On Friday, all sides, the union and the company, plus a mediator, met in Albert Lee. After several hours of negotiations, a tentative contract agreement was reached between the company and the Carpenters Union. Today, that second offer was voted on by employees. Our Alex Kendall is in the newsroom. She spent part of the day in Albert Lee, and our top story continues now with details on the yes vote taken by workers. Alex, do you have details of the offer, and why was it approved this time around? Well, actually, this wasn't a surprise. When I did talk to union members, uh, they anticipated the approval of this latest proposal. It certainly was getting closer. They felt that both sides uh, negotiated. They gave a little bit, and they were definitely pleased that they didn't end up 
picketing. They certainly didn't want to end up there. Now, the main issue to the union members was the subcontracting and not the wages or insurance. They wanted to make that perfectly clear. And uh, Streeters now has agreed not to subcontract any of the work out, which could be performed by employees, uh, especially ones that, those that are laid off, which evidently last year there were quite a few. Um, subcontracting will only be done when there is an overflow and the company doesn't have enough people power to do it in-house and they will let all the union members know in that section um, when they will be subcontracting any work. The wage increases will be 35 cents an hour uh, every, each year for the next two years. The third year it will go then to 40 cents an hour. Uh, one thing, the deductibles, they will actually be doubling but they won't be, uh, be doubling until next year. There will not be any deductibles going up this year. And so they were all very pleased. They said the negotiating process has been fairly smooth and they're very happy with it. Beth? All right, thank you, Alex. Once again, employees at Streeters Manufacturing in Albert Lee have approved a second contract offer by the company. Fears by employees that they would be on strike after their contract expired on June 1st are now a thing of the past. And that is our top story for this Monday, June 7th. Two weeks, union members and officials at one of Albert Lee's biggest companies have been at the negotiating table. The company proposed a contract about two weeks ago that was given the thumbs down from union members. Finally today, the two sides came to a compromise and voted nearly 4 to 1 in favor of the new contract issued last Friday. One of the union negotiators says a strike wasn't something they considered as a solution. But it, it's not something that was even you know, close to happening because uh, we were continuing to bargain all through this process. Last week, the week before, uh, we never reached an impasse in bargaining. So uh, you have to be prepared, but it wasn't even contemplated uh, until this final vote. One of the main issues for the union members was subcontracting. Streeters now has agreed not to subcontract out any work that could be performed by employees, especially ones that are laid off. The union members will get a 35 cent raise each year for the next two years, then 40 cents the third. Employees' medical deductibles will still double as proposed in the first contract, but the increase won't begin until next year. Union officials say the negotiating process was smooth and members are pleased with the outcome.